WDW Magic. So this is the tour of Epcot Space 2020 restaurant. Um, and I'll be honest, I it's, if I was ever to go to America, this would be one of the reasons I would go. I would love to go here. I mean, the reason I'm watching this is because I want to watch this because I've heard that is what the Disney Galaxy Hotel should have been. And straight away, if this was a welcome reception hub for you going to the Starship in orbit, uh, that would be cool. Uh, I heard that, uh, I watched a video that is just a, an absolute farce um, of a, an ordeal trying to get onto the ship. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to go into this. Obviously, I'm guessing it goes up into space because it's a space dock. But you get to see the things flying off behind you below and and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, there you go. So it's moving. Yeah, it's way better than uh, Galaxy the, uh, the one at Gal the Galaxy Hotel. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if it feel. I wonder if you feel like you're moving up as well. You know. Like it's getting faster and faster. That looks, that looks so good. I wonder how they did that. They must have done it and stuff. Oh, <laughs> wow! Look at that. Oh wow! That is so cool. A ship just flying. Ship just flying by there. And I'd expect to see the uh, the Star Wars spaceship there, which, you know, you go to another docking station and then the ship's docked to it, and you can walk into the ship. It'd be that, that's how they should have started it. Yeah, the, the Galaxy Hotel was an absolute joke. It was such a mess. Uh, the reason why I'm watching this one is because we've just watched another video where uh, it showed me, like, what a really cool version of the Galaxy Hotel rooms could have been like. Um, because those were dire. Uh, and one of you guys suggested this one, so yeah, I'm glad you, you did. Uh, I didn't even know about the Epcot uh, restaurant, really. Alright, it's a bit bland, but fair enough, you know, you're in a space station. I suppose you can have some static suit. What's that? Like a cabbage. So it looked like. Oh, right, okay. Oh, so it's like um, fresh fruit being grown in space. Okay. That's cool. I can live with that. I mean, obviously, you're going to a restaurant, so shows you how you get that shows you how they get their produce. I think they're bottles of wine or something. Wow! Oh my God! Can you imagine going to get the Disney Galaxy Hotel, uh, the Star Wars Hotel, and this is where you were going to dine every day, have your breakfast and your dinner? Wow! Look at that! It's huge! It's you can see the whole, all the way around you, like 360 almost. Look at that. God, it feels like you're in space. Yeah, it felt like you're in a, uh, an underground bunker in the uh, Star Wars hotel. There was no, I don't, I don't, was it? I don't think there was any windows. Were there any windows in the Star Wars hotel? No, there wasn't. Uh, well, in the restaurant, sorry, there wasn't. Right. And you had that god awful terrible live performance singer right, so what's this is this going back down again oh okay yeah go back to earth oh come on how can Disney make this at Epcot and get it so incredibly right and do such an amazing job especially in the dining room area and then go make the Star Wars Hotel and do such a trash job. I mean, the Star Wars Hotel looks so horrible and claustrophobic and clinical. Yeah, and, and like, yeah, like you said, it felt crap. You didn't feel like your space. There's no wind. Why were there no windows in the, um, why were there no windows in the eating area for the luxury spaceship hotel? Most probably couldn't afford them. Well, yeah. Spend 500 million on a hotel and then skimp out on the things that's going to make it work. Yeah, why not? Idiots. 
Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I bet, I bet I'd get a bit of vertigo if I was standing there looking down. Oh, come on. They've nailed, they have absolutely nailed it. I wouldn't even care if the meal was terrible. If the meal was horrible, I wouldn't care. The fact I got to do this and go into that room would be enough for me. The meal will just be a bonus, believe it or not. How can they get this so right and then fluff up the Galaxy Hotel so much? And none of you been on it? No? No one's been on it? Okay. You wouldn't want to go on it? Well, okay, let me ask you this. If you could go to Epcot and do this, or go to the Disney Hotel, the Star Wars Disney Hotel, which one would you want to do? You'd, you'd go to the uh, the Disney Hotel, you'd go to Epcot. All right, put down yes if you go to Epcot. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so basically everyone would go to Epcot and do this, uh, rather than do the Disney thing. And you'd save a few thousand pounds. You know, so that was wdwmagic.com. Uh, a link will be in the description as always. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's isn't it infuriating? Yeah, it, it pisses you off as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think I'd be pissed off if I went if I knew, and I had been and seen that place at Epcot, the Epcot Space 2020 restaurant. If I had been uh, to Epcot and been there, I would be immediately thinking. Well, a Star Wars Disney hotel is going to be to the exact same level of, uh, and caliber as the 2020 restaurant, if not better in some respects. I, I would think that. I would think that straight away, would you? Yeah? Yeah, you would. Exactly. And then to get there, to the Disney hotel, where you spent four, five thousand dollars $5,000, maybe seven or eight, maybe nearly $10,000, and you get that horrible room, bedroom, and you get that dine, that horrible dining room. Would you not be ticked off? Yeah, exactly. You'd, you'd all be pissed off, wouldn't you? Exactly. I mean, like I said, if, if, if you've been and you've enjoyed it, great. I'm very happy for you. You are a different type of person to me. It's not something I would do. But, yeah. No, I, I, I don't... No, I disagree. I don't. I don't think that the the people that went to the Disney hotel, the Disney Star Wars hotel, the people that went that went there, I do not think they're idiots and they're fools. No, I I, I disagree. I think you're wrong. Obviously, it, it is, and it was always more than likely going to be a once in a lifetime experience, and people want to try that, you know, and that's absolutely fine. What's the point in being alive if you're not going to try something new? Yeah, it was priced more than I think it was priced way out of market for what they were wanting. Um, and me personally, I would spend my money on many other things because the amount of money it would cost, I could do many other things. But if someone wants to do it, you know, that's their choice. Um, I don't, I don't think they're a fool or stupid for doing it. Um, it's you know, it's just one of those things. I think. Uh, yeah, you know, good on them. Well done for trying it. They can say they've been and done it. Uh, you know, they're the only ones that can get the souvenirs from that place. No, they can't. What do you mean they can't? No. What? So they started selling the 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 uh, souvenirs from the Galaxy Star Wars Hotel shop in the parks and at outlets. They had a huge clearance. Are you joking? What? So you don't even have, you don't you wouldn't even need to go to the Star Wars Galaxy Hotel, and you could have bought a load of things specifically branded for it. Really? Wow. Wow. <laughs> that uh, that sucks, man. I, I'd be well peed off. I'd be I'd be pissed off with that personally, because that's part of. That high price tag, the high price tag meant that those things that are sold in the hotel were exclusives, basically. They're exclusives. That, those, those things were specifically for the people that spent a fortune staying at a hotel. But to then to just take all that stock and just bump it into the park so anybody could, could buy it. 
Wow, that's that's uh, that's shallow, man. That's that's harsh. Nah, I don't, I don't agree. I don't think they should have just destroyed it. It would have made those things that were purchased even more valuable. And that's just crapping on your customer, really, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's that's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. So, yeah, that is just uh, that's wrong, man. 